Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be installing Magento onto your Windows computer using a WAMP server that we went over in the last video. If you need to learn how to get WAMP set up, uh, go ahead and watch that video that was um, the one before this. So if you uh, go to magento.com, you'll notice this is what the site currently looks like. Uh, I feel like it changes. Well, uh, before this change, it hadn't changed in a long time, but uh, this change was fairly recent. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to products, and then from products, we can go to open source slash CE, and this is going to be the community edition. And we can go to uh, view available downloads here. And we're going to want to grab, uh, looks like the latest version is one8 uh, 8.1 at this time of recording this. So go ahead and grab whatever the latest version is and uh, I'll just grab this tar.gz and we can go ahead and download this. Now it's going to ask you for a Magento account so go ahead and use your login credentials or create an account if you don't already have one. Now after you've gotten through your download will start and it will take you to this page where it gives you some installation guides and you can go ahead and check out any of these installation guides if you get stuck at all. Now if you want to install the sample data uh, down here there's the sample data you can go ahead and download this most recent version of that and keep in mind if you're going to install the sample data you have to do it before you install Magento now I won't be covering that in this video but the process is the exact same as it is on the Mac videos that I had done earlier so go ahead and watch these installing the sample data video that I did on the Mac and it's going to be the exact same process then you can go ahead and install Magento after that Okay, after your Magento is done downloading, uh, based on whatever compression you have, if it's just zipped up, you're going to want to unzip it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and extracted our Magento uh, directory into my desktop here, and you can see inside of here is the standard Magento stuff, and I'm going to make a folder on my local C drive, and it's just going to be um, just www, and that's where I'm going to keep my websites, right? So if I go to my desktop, I'm going to grab this whole Magento folder, throw it into here, and then throw it into my www. So here it is. And now it's just going to move those files really quick. Okay, perfect. Now what we need to do is tell our our WAMP server to have a new location. And so if we uh, basically go to our Apache and we want an alias directories. Let's add an alias. Notice how we already have localhost, PHP, MyAdmin, SQL, Buddy, and WebGrind. If we come to this, it's going to ask us what the alias should be. And this is just going to be when you go to your browser and go to localhost slash something, it's what it's going to be. Now, I want this to just be Magento. Okay, and now it's asking where it uh, should be located and it gives an example of C um, and then the folder test so we can go ahead and say that this is going to point to C www and then Magento just like that and hit enter and it says our alias is created press exit enter to exit you notice this goes orange for a second as it restarts our server now we can click on here and uh, and everything looks to be looks to be good here. So now we can go to our local host and and we can type in. And you want to make sure that you have a forward slash here, or else it's not going to take you to this install screen. So this is Magento's normal install screen. If you watch the other videos on how to do it on a Mac, this looks familiar. Now we want to agree to these terms, and let's click continue. At this point, it's going to ask us for some more things, uh, basically our location settings. So we can say, uh, I'm in Eastern Standard Time, so I'm going to come up and find that. Um, Eastern Standard Time, my currency is US dollar, yours could be whatever your currency for your store is going to be. Now let's click continue. And it's telling me PHP extension curl must be loaded. So with WAMP, we can come in here and let's go to PHP and now extensions we can find php curl in this list click it and it's going to uh, once again turn our server orange restart our server now let's give this page a refresh and it looks like we're good so now it's asking us for our database connection 
Well, we haven't created a database yet, so let's go ahead and do that. To do that, we want to come down to our WAMP server and then go to PHP My Admin here. Now from here, we just need to log in. Username is root, password is blank. We can click go. And now let's uh, go to databases. Now, in, we want to create a database, so we can just call this Magento. Of course, you're going to want to name your database, maybe something a little bit more meaningful. And you know, let's click create. We can just leave this as uh, collation. Okay, so now we have our database. Uh, here it is, Magento. Let's come back to our install. Our database type is a MySQL database. It's running on localhost. The database name is Magento. The username is root and our user password is blank. Now we don't have a tables prefix so we can leave this blank. Our base URL is localhost slash Magento. Our admin path can be slash admin. However, you can make this to be whatever you'd like. Um, a lot of times people change this because they don't want uh, people to know where their admin path is, but um, it might make your site a little bit more secure. But really, uh, for this particular example, I can leave it as admin just so it's common. And now I do want to enable charts. Um, and I, I don't need to check anything else. We don't have an SSL. This is uh, just a basic basic install here. And we want to save session data in our file system. Sounds Everything sounds good, right? So let's click Continue. Now it's going to tell us if it's connected to the database and everything is ready. If not, if you had some sort of issue with your database, uh, not finding the database, perhaps your name or your username or password are incorrect. But if you're following along and this is a, a WAMP uh, server, then this information should be correct here. Perfect. So now we've moved on and it's asking us to create an admin account. And let's go ahead and type in my name here. And this is Scott at Level of Tuts. Okay, now if we come to our PHP database, this is just to show you, if we come to our Magento, you'll see it's totally populated with tables now. So uh, it's connected to our database and it's filled our database with the Magento tables that it needs. Now I'm going to give it um, an admin username and password. And then I'm going to leave this encryption key blank. It will create one for us. So let's click continue. Uh, did not like my password. It needs seven or more characters. Um, that was my bad. And uh, now let's click continue. And like this says, we are all set. Um, with this latest version of Magento, they're actually asking us for some information, like uh, what are you selling online? And I'm gonna say I'm just testing. This is just a survey, right? Um, this actually is rather new. This didn't used to be popular. This didn't used to show up. So you can go and fill the survey out if you'd like. Um, if not, it's no big deal. At the bottom here, you can go to your front end or your back end, and it's asking you to keep this encryption key in a safe place. So if we open a new tab, go to our front end here, you'll see our site is uh, is installed and ready to go. Since we don't have any products or anything like that, you don't see that sample data because we didn't install that. And if we come to our back end here, we can go ahead and log in. Um, I just did not type the password in correct at all. Okay. Now, if you've gone to log in and you typed in your credentials, it doesn't give you any sort of errors here, but it still won't let you log in. That's actually a, a common problem. And to fix that, we need to actually comment out some lines in one of the core files. Basically, there's an issue with um, uh, cookies or something that allows you to not log in. Um, and this is a pretty widely accepted solution for your temporary local uh, site here. So if we come to our site and then go to app code core mage and then we want to go to core model session abstract <laughs> we should find this varian.php file. Now if you're having this issue you're going to go to this file and you're going to need to edit out um, 
in fact, I'll just put this link in to the comments here. Basically, you're gonna need to go and edit out these lines. Basically, you just make a comment on them, save it, and your login should be working fine. Um, and so now you have Magento officially installed on your Windows computer, and everything should be up and running correctly. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts, on Facebook, uh, on the new Level Up Tuts forum that you can check out that is still like pretty bare bones right now, but it's being populated and uh, it'll be really cool once everybody's on there asking questions and stuff like that. So uh, check it all out. Let me know what you think and thanks for watching. Bye.